We've actually taken the cutaway to, to an extreme by removing the rear section of the deck and the splice well to expose what you're seeing here. It's really a good way to illustrate the backbone of a Ranger and how the transom is built and how everything really ties together. At the real basis of it is a pull-truded fiberglass transom. Pull-truded fiberglass is similar to extruded aluminum. Where aluminum is extruded through a die, we are actually pulling wet fiberglass through a die and in similar fashion thermocuring that so that the, as it comes out the back side of the die, it's an engineered piece of composite that we then use to construct the transom. What happens is, is these knee braces tie all the way to the bottom and go forward to distribute the stresses that are applied to the outboard engine. And also laterally, the transom extends to the side and these are foam tanks, but they also have a structural purpose in that they stiffen the back of the boat and allow us to rely upon the integrity of this transom without the, even having the deck attached to the back of the boat. We chose the protrusion process because pound for pound, it's stronger than steel. It uh, bonds very well because it's made of the same materials that the hull is. So pound for pound, inch for inch, this transom is unparalleled and it's virtually indestructible. As we put it in the, the boat and tie all of the elements together, we get that one piece feel and also stiffens the back of the boat so that structurally we have all the parts working in unison to provide you with, with what is the best system on the market.